Hi guys, this is Maximum X Gamer, and today I have recorded a video to show everyone who has a laptop, specifically an MSI laptop, on how to clean out their internal fans and filters. If you, like me, are suffering increased temperatures, then this hopefully should help. So the first thing you need to do is unplug your laptop from any mains, and then take out your battery. In order to take the uh, bottom cover off the laptop, you need to unscrew six screws. For me, uh, one of the screws was under a warranty sticker. Uh, this was another reason why I had left it two years uh, in order to open and clean up my fan. Now, once you have unscrewed all six screws, you will need to lift the cover by unclicking it, starting from the area near the battery. As you can see, there's quite a build-up of wet dust surrounding the fan. Now there are three areas which need to be separated in order for you to properly clean the uh, main fan and the filters surrounding. The first area covers the chip and which is directly in front of the fan. The second area uh, is the CPU which is to the right of the fan and then the third is the fan itself. The first thing that comes out is the main fan unit. You only need to undo one screw as the other three were the same screws that were holding the bottom panel of the laptop in place. Once this is done, you should be able to carefully lift and take out the fan. Don't forget to unplug the fan from the motherboard. It's a small clip as you can see here uh, and it's better accessed when you have lifted the fan out uh, obviously without pulling the uh, wire loose. It's a small clip, you just unclip it. Once the fan is disconnected and out of the way, you can now see the extent of dust that was blocking the uh, filters. Uh, again, this is two years worth of build-up, so you can see exactly the reason why my laptop was overheating. Uh, something to bear in mind is uh, once you lift these uh, CPU cover and also the the area around the microchip, there is um, it breaks the seal and you would need to have some uh, thermal paste in, in order to reseal it once you're placing them back down. So make sure you have that. Um, once you've undone the screws, it's quite straightforward. Uh, you have to carefully lift them out. I mean, you can easily try to clean it while it's inside the laptop but I, I didn't want to take the chance because of the build up so if you carefully undo the two areas carefully lift out uh, both sections then take it away and you can clean it uh, I've used brushes and uh, air canister which uh, are the best ways because um, the fan and the surrounding uh, dust is uh, it's what's described as wet dust and it's something that it's not uh, easily removable so the other thing we could use is uh, wipes that are alcohol based uh, that's another thing that you can use but like I said avoid liquids as much as possible the other thing you need to watch for is if once lifting the, the panels you might have uh, moved some of the seals so make sure all the seals are in place before you put back all the panels yeah, so make sure you put enough uh, thermal paste, not overdoing it, and uh, so that you can seal it properly, because if you don't, then you still have the same problem. The filter that sits uh, over the CPU, uh, the screws don't actually detach, so it's easily, you can undo the screws, detach it, clean it, put it back in. Basically, you do everything in reverse. You put back the, uh, the panel over the CPU first, and then the panel, the smaller one of the two panels, um, back over the chipset. Place the uh, wire into the motherboard for the fan and then placing it carefully back into the housing. Um, once everything is screwed back in, put the panel back on and 
hopefully it would have resolved your problem. In my case, my temperature is no longer an issue. It sits roughly idle at 45, and when I'm using it, it's about 50 to 60, which is, which is still on the higher side, but is much better than 80 or 90, and is more stable as well when I'm playing a game. Well, guys, I hope you liked this uh, video. I hope it helped, and uh, if it did, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. This is Maximum X Gamer signing out. Thank you.